So how does this come together? What you're seeing here is the combined integrated planning and governance framework. On the left, you have the private sector fleet working group. On the right, you have the government working group of the major UAC states in FEMA called the East Coast Quarter Coalition or the EC3. Uh, it was formerly called the Eastern Urban Area Executive Committee. This was changed because it was a little too, uh, <laughs> too difficult to pronounce. So you can see those working groups were guided by either public or private. Down below, you can see the participants. Okay, And what did they do? Well, they came together to focus on three things. One, how do we plan together? So integrated planning on specific topic. Okay, So this topic right now we're talking about is power restoration. Then annual exercises. Exercises force things to the surface, identify gaps and cracks, and give us a chance to work together, to plan together, and exercise those plans, and develop plans to fill in the holes. And then lastly, what's come out of this are joint data products and solutions. This was an unexpected consequence, but a very positive one. And we'll talk about that in other slides. So as they began to do the planning, do the exercises, some opportunities came up on ways to plug some of those gaps with very simple solutions. In one case, it was just aggregating government, public government data for the private sector on a single portal. Okay. In other cases, it was looking at policy changes. In other cases, it was business process change. A lot of it's just educating government to what private sector needs and educating private sector to what government needs. So this is how the framework comes together in the middle to actually do and act and produce.